and open up the tag screen by double clicking it here. So this is how we can either manually create tags or import them just to add tags um, in a much faster way. So first I'm going to manually create some tags, um, even though I think usually most people will be importing the tags from their PLC, um, just using some kind of file exported from the PLC. Um, but first I'm going to create a couple manually. So when doing this, the first thing to check is to make sure you are adding your tags to the correct protocol, which we have in this drop down menu here. If I click on it, I can select which protocol I'm adding my tags to. I do want to start with Modbus TCP. So with that selected, I can click the plus sign to create a new tag. When you create your first tag, you'll have this dialog open up and you can um, configure the tag. So I can select the memory type, the offset, and uh, the data type, which I'll just leave as an unsigned short. So I can click OK. And now I have created my, my tag. I can change the name by clicking in the name cell and um, giving it a new name. And if I need to change that configuration, then I can change it in a similar way that I changed the protocols by clicking in the cell and clicking the square to get this dialog back. So I can do this if, if I decide I need to change the data type um, or anything else. The next time I create a new tag, it will default to the same data type um, of the next offset. So since my uh, register addressing is 16-bit, it's good that it put it to 4002, which would be the next space. However, if my first item was an integer, I might need to change this um, to 4003, since integers are 32 bits in JMobile, and shorts are 16. Um, it will just keep pushing the next tag name down to tag one, tag two, tag three. Um, it won't know to call it short two or something like that. So that's something that you may need to edit. So that's just a, a couple ways to, um, or a couple of manual, manually created tags. I'm going to quickly add a couple more here just for the sake of uh, this demonstration. So notice that I created four tags real quick and it made them all Booleans. But if I change this Boolean to an integer and add a couple more tags, it'll retain that, that integer value. So for our variable tags, there really isn't much that we need to set up here. Uh, there's no offset because we don't, we don't really care where it's being saved. Um, JMobile's just going to save it wherever it needs to save it. Um, and, and we'll just reference them internally only. However, you might need to define the array size. For example, if this was um, an array of shorts, you could define the array size. Or if this were a string, which is what I'm going to make it, we can define the size of the string. So if I set that to 20, that means that my string can have up to 20 characters. So we've, we've manually created a lot of tags. And the ne next thing I want to do is show how to import our tags. So I, I do have a tag file that I exported from Codasys um, that I'm going to import the tags with here. So in most cases, you'll be able to export some kind of tag file from your PLC. Um, the formatting of that file varies depending on exactly what your PLC is. Often it will be an XML file or a CSV file, but it, it could be some kind of table or some kind of special file type specific to your PLC software. For example, if it's a Compact Logix PLC, it would be L5K or L5X um, or something like that. So in order to actually import that file, we need to click on this icon here with the arrow in the bracket, import tags. And this will give us uh, a pop-up showing which types of files we can handle. So for Codasys, we're only able to enter XML files, which is fine because that's the only thing Codasys will export. But if you were using Modbus TCP or Ethernet IP um, or, or some other protocols, you might have a lot more options here with things like CSV or, or L5X. The last option will always be tag editor exported XML. Um, all that is is if you decided to export your tags from JMobile, using this icon up here. 
um, and import them back into a different JMobile project, you would have to use this, this last choice. Um, but for my codices file, I'm going to use XML linear and click OK. Next, I'll be prompted to find that file on my computer. Um, I'm just going to pick this one and open it up. And it will import the tags um, into what we call the tag database, which is what we have at the bottom of the screen here. So the tag database is a little bit different than when I created my tags at the top earlier in what I called the tag, or sorry, this is the tag dictionary at the bottom. And it's a little bit different than the top of the screen, which is the tag database. Uh, the tag dictionary is tags that we've um, imported into JMobile, but have not fully gained access to in our project yet. So we can add anything from the tag dictionary to the tag database to gain access to it, um, just like I had access to my manually created tags by clicking on them and importing them. So you might not need to add all of them. You can click and hold control and click on different tags to select only some of them. You can click and press control A to select all of them, or you can click and drag to select um, whichever ones you want. So I'll just select all of them, and then I'll use this Import Tags button here to move my tags from my tag dictionary into my tag database. And I now have access to them throughout my project. So just to kind of show an overview of my tags here, I can click Show All Tags as my protocol, and I'll be able to see um, all of the tags that I made of different protocols. That should be all of the tags that I need for this. So I'm just going to save and close the tags tab.